A new long-term strategic plan is unveiled for Worcester Public Schools. It's been more than 25 years since the last one was adopted, and while it still needs to be approved by the school committee, one member says it shouldn't be an issue. Our Brittany Schaefer joins us live now with the details. Brittany? Olivia, the plan focuses on five main points, innovation, academic excellence, welcoming schools, funding, and technology. Creators say the plan will boost areas in Worcester Public Schools that are coming up short. This is something that we believe is critical to the success of Worcester. A long-term strategic plan for Worcester Public Schools is now available to the public. The work by the Worcester Regional Research Bureau and Worcester Education Collaborative is two years in the making. As Worcester becomes uh, a more diverse community, a community that struggles with issues of poverty, uh, disengagement, you know, how do we make sure that every student has the tools they need to succeed? The plan calls for more personalized learning in Worcester schools. You can't focus on a large class of 30 students when each student really has very different experiences and unique approaches uh, and needs to learning. And within that, an early warning system to know when students are struggling and potentially on a track that they could fail. Research Bureau Executive Director Timothy McGurthy says additional state funding is needed for the five-year plan to work. One of the key pieces that you know we highlight in this strategic planning process and in the report is that Chapter 70 funding fails for the, the urban centers of Massachusetts. Uh, it doesn't take into account the challenges that the city of Worcester faces. In all my life as an educator, I can tell you that we need to get the state and the governor to move on those on, on, on the funding. 14 year school committee member John Monfredo likes the plan and says it shouldn't have a problem being approved by the school committee. In general, it's a, it's a, it's a solid plan. We talk about a, a welcoming environment and as a former principal, I can tell you how that how essential that is. That's really another essential part of this plan. Residents will be able to give their feedback on the plan at 10 Lincoln Square on May 7th at 6 p.m. 